What we've created is an alternative to a ramp made from several blankets. It's known as the Troop Elevation Pillow. It's currently in five anesthesia textbooks, numerous articles, both national and international, and is being sold around the world and has been sold around the world for, for many, many years. The Elevation Pillow's mantra is that it's easy. It's very, very easy to use. It's very easy to set up. It's very stable as opposed to a ramp made of, of uh, many blankets. And it also yields a predictable result. So the Elevation Pillow is a very specialized uh, piece of sculptured foam. There's a little roll here, which is where the shoulders of the patient are to lie. And it's designed to be used with any standard intubating pillow or standard headrest uh, or cradle. Notice that the patient's head, Quinton's our model patient here today, Quinton's head on the standard intubating pillow, on the elevation pillow, is sort of like in a line right at the edge of the OR table. In other words, his head and neck is right close to you in your chest or abdomen, and with a little bit of extension of Quinton's uh, uh, cervical spine, what we're going to see is that the three airway axes, as demonstrated by the imaginary line from the ear to the suprasternal notch, that imaginary line is now much more parallel to the OR table and to the floor. And that is a sort of a summation of the three airway axes, which show that the, the axes are starting to align. And this will facilitate a successful first pass intubation. This is known as the two set. The base unit, which is the troop elevation pillow, the head cradle, it must be used with a head cradle, any kind of head cradle, which is placed on the flat upper plateau or flat upper part of the elevation pillow.